I was over at Online Metals the other day, and we had a great discussion about finishing metal. And you know, something we haven't even talked about yet on the show. If you want to finish the last, especially with our weather, here's how you do it. Hey guys, in today's pro tip, we're going to talk about finishing metal. And it's not just grabbing your favorite rattle can and throwing something over the top of it. This is all about surface prep. So when you're starting out with metal, whether it's old or something new, you still got to do a lot of work to get it ready. For instance, if this was really old metal that was all rusty, I'd hit it with this and this will convert it over into something that's not gonna rust through the finish. That way you don't get the bubbles and all that nastiness that comes with it. So this is a really good thing if you've got rusty old metal to convert over into something that's paintable. But really, we're gonna start out with something like this, which is about 100 grit paper. I like to come in here and just kind of get the big things knocked off. And then the next step is, is to come in. This is actually a 220 grit sanding pad. So the higher the number, the finer the grit. And if I was just to spray over the top of 100 grit, you're gonna see lines in it. We don't want that. So if we come in here and really get this kind of roughed up, and so we've got all the high points off, we've got something smooth. The next step is an automotive primer. Now, I'm not a big fan of the all-in-one primers because they don't really do the same. This here is actually something we can spray on here and it's gonna be smooth. And if we have any bubbles, we can actually wet sand it over the top and get a really nice finish before we go with that top coat. So for instance, when you come in here, and I let this dry. Now, once this is dry, we're gonna go over the top of it with this 220 sandpaper and get it all dialed in. And then after it's clean, we can go with our top coat and do that over the top. If you go through those steps, you're gonna have something that's gonna really hold up over time, and it's something that's gonna last. If you just spray the can over the top of it without the prep, it might be there for a few weeks or the first little scratch. But if you want a durable finish, start from start to finish with this whole process, and it'll look good every single time. You know, it's amazing how good that looked with just a little paint. For our second pro tip, we look at one of my favorite tools, the Painter's Pro Tool. This is something you should always have in your tool belt. In fact, send me your favorite tools on our Facebook page. I'd love to see why they're your favorite. Now, let's see what this Painter's Tool can do. All right, guys, today's pro tip, the Painting Multi-Tool. This is the secret if you're doing any restoration work or just working around the house on any kind of a painting project. There's a lot of different versions of these because I think everybody's created one. This is the most basic, but let me show you how to use it. There's a lot of great little things in this. One, I've got an edge that is nice and sharp on the one side that I can use as a scraper. And I can also use this to gouge and pull out grooves of stuff. So I can get in here and I'm really trying to scrape stuff and get it. And if I want to get in here and start cleaning out, this is great for all your prep work. It's got a little bit of a tack holder in here too, so you can get around the end of a finish nail and pull that up. And then you've got almost a hammer on the end. So if you're trying to nail down something, you can use that there. One of my favorites is during cleanup though. When I've got this roller and I'm trying to get the rest of the paint out of it, that's what this side is for. You could bring this in over the top of, and then this will just get all of that excess paint out. So it makes getting this all the way cleaned up. And I tell you what, this is my favorite tool when I'm working on a DIY project, when it's all about prep, it's even great before you caulk. So make sure you got this in your toolbox. It's a lifesaver on your next project.